let me take you on a day trip with me to Sintra, Portugal and see if we can spend the day with only 50 euro. Let's go! The train ride to Sintra was about 40 minutes. It was very We do have this hop on hop off mini buses to get to the Pena Palace because it says here we still not into the palace. But we're gonna go walking. So let's walk. Let's see how much it is. It's uh, 934. Let's see. Let's see my pace. I need to walk. trying to be cinematic. Give me two seconds. So for the sake of doing a 50 euro day trip, you kind of have to choose your battles. And for me, I wanted to come to the Pena Palace the most. Of course, it's the most mainstream one, but you know, it's mainstream for a reason. So of course I wanted to come and check it out. So Pena Palace is the one I chose. So the ticket is 14 euro, it's 13.90, but just for the sake of making it easier. 14 euro, the general entrance ticket. And you have access to the gardens and the palace. And there's also another option that is 1750 that includes a mini bus that will take you from the entrance to the palace to the palace itself. But it was literally a five minute walk and I wasn't even doing it fast or anything like that. So save your money. It's absolutely 100% not worth it. Just walk. And to get to the palace from Sintra City, you do have the bus, the 434. It's a seven euro return ride from Central City Centre to the entrance of Pena Palace Gardens, Pena Palace and Pena Palace, and that's pretty much it. I read in a few places that you can only pay cash, but I was able to pay with card, with contactless, so maybe they updated that. But just in case, bring some cash in case it's needed. We're in, welcome. So I just finished visiting Pena Palace. I spent less than two hours because I was like soaking it in and took three million pictures of the castle because it's so beautiful. And now I'm walking around the gardens of Pena Park and then I'm gonna go to have some lunch. I spent 160 on overpriced water, but so far so good. Really waiting for the ferries here. This is the National Palace Gardens and the entrance is free and you can get this lovely view for zero euros. I won't have dinner here and I'm already very hungry so let's go have some lunch. Finished my tapas was 11.50. Now let's get to the city hall, which has also another free attraction. Time for dessert, so I'm trying an authentic quejada from Sintra. This is great, and only 95 cents. My GoPro died before I could end the video, but that doesn't stop me to telling you how much I spent into this day trip to Sintra. Adding up from transport, food, 
clothes and everything in between that I spend during the day, I add to the whopping sum of 40 cents. So I hope this video gave you some insights. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for coming with me on this day. Comment down below if you would have changed anything of this schedule. Okay, gonna go catch my train. Bye! That is cuteness!